the capper bouncer. It runs great. The only consistent issue that I've had with it has been with the slipper. Can't tighten it down enough because the capper transmission is really kind of fast and it's meant for a portal axle around a 7.4 to 1 ratio. So these have a 3.3 to 1. So the ratios are basically wrong in it. However, it does work. So to fix the clutch issue from JEC Racing right here, I've got these uh, clutch eliminators. So it's just a uh, hex deal here that I'm going to get these put into the transmission so we can take it out for a drive and see how much power it's really got because I don't think we've seen everything it's got yet. But we will. Take a look. If you're unfamiliar with this, it's a capper chassis with an actual bomber drive line, but this has got the Intigy Curry axles in it. Raw 500, got a Rock 412, Castle Mamba X ESC, got another Curry axle in the back. Beadlock wheels, um, bomber links, and pretty much, well, it's got a trio transmission in it, and I'll show you why I've got that in there. So for right now, we got to take this thing apart. With the transmission out, you can see right here, this is where those pads go, or the pad eliminators go, right there. With that center gear out, you can see why I use this case for this particular truck. It, you can move it down closer to the pinion gear, and that way you can easily fit a nine tooth in there with plenty of room to spare. If I could get an eight tooth, it might would even go. The new eliminators eliminate all of this right here. And as you can see right here, I was uh, pretty close to just finishing off that pad pretty darn well. So these go onto the, sh the sh input shaft of the transmission and then everything just goes together. I've got this into place. Now I did have to do some shimming. I'm not sure if maybe it was a trio transmission, but the gear was coming all the way back and uh, actually hitting this uh, screw thread boss right here. So I added a little bit of a washer on the back side. Now the indentations on these spacers are to the inside. That's the best I could tell off the JEC website. So then I just added some washers there, more five millimeter washers, topped it off with a four millimeter washer and the nut. You can see where I've been trying to tighten this thing out in the field, but no luck. So that should lock this thing down and we're gonna spin some tires. Back together, time to see what it's got. Well, let's give this thing a pull. <laughs> I like it. Oh yeah. They're still kind of mild though. All right. <laughs> Something I've been doing lately is trying to drive the nasty backwards. Since this doesn't have any bumpers, any overhangs, or any of that, I just want to see if it can actually get this. Oh, you can hear those metal axles. There's no dig or anything on this. But it is wide. So I just want to see if I can at least get this backwards. It's sticking really good. Ah, close. You can tell it's just not geared right for crawling, but uh, really, oh, that was my fault. Oh, geez, I had it too. <laughs> That's a heck of a way out of it. All right, you know. 
I did fall off of that, but that was kind of my fault. Can't blame the truck for that. And uh, I guess while we're at it, we may as well go ahead and continue this because we got some more stuff to go do here. Okay. Oh. Wow, gearing is just so wrong for crawling. All right, let's see what we got here. Woo! Oh, I am just about good to go. And of course, you're hearing that castle whine. When you're met, when you're bashing around with something, ooh, you generally don't hear it too much while you're met. Ow! When you're messing around. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 It survived. Now, this is where I generally end up breaking it. Um, hopefully not. Oh, hear that front end smack. I'd rather not break it, but I do want to get some air out of it. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful flat landing. That was not a flat landing. Oh, well. To be built wrong, it runs really good. I don't like these entity housings. Oh, something ain't happy. Something's not happy. I don't like these entity housing. I think I'm going to have to get rid of them. They just don't seem to hold the gears in place and. going to be a little bit loose on the tolerances, you know? <laughs> oh! So guys, the JEC Clutch Eliminator plates, those did their job as good as they can be. I mean, they're just simply a straight piece, you know, a little hex on it, a little slot in the middle, and they lock everything down. It was still kind of mild though, you know, really. Maybe I need to turn the ESC up. Maybe I'm running it a little bit too much punch control. Not sure, but it seems to get the job done. Now, running the nasty backwards. That is really difficult, in all honesty. Getting into it, I've tried coming in down the bricks. I've tried coming in off the concrete. Uh, once you get into that gap of death, I had to remember that for a second. Once you get into that gap of death, you just got that it's hard to get out. With any bumper at all, you're just going to plow it, and then you get messed up. Then, if you do get out of it, then you're trying to ride the inside of your tires and stay on there and then try to get down backwards through the crack of doom. So the crack of doom is tough, 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 tough. But anyway, jumping this thing, for some reason, I do like to jump it. I'm not sure why, but it just seems to be a lot of fun. So yeah, kind of one of those things. Well, anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. I will put a link to JEC Racing down in the description so you guys can check those plates out. And they actually have quite a bit of other stuff. Um, so, yeah, they got quite a bit to offer. So make sure you check them out. 
I'll put links to pretty much everything I can find on the Capra Bouncer for you guys. eBay, Amazon, A-Main, Red Cat, Walmart. There are links down there. Use those links to go and check out. Uh, pick up if you see something you like on here and you want it. Click the link. Go. Buy. Helps out. So guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos. And you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.